Hey, welcome back to another video. Tristan here from Parker Digital. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing with you on screen how you can create your own animated gradient background text. Now, personally, I think this looks really cool and you may or may not have seen this around the web in your travels. I certainly have, and I think it's a really nice addition to either your website or any of your clients' projects if that type of thing fits within what they need. Now, I'm gonna be running you through this on screen, step by step, but before we do that, please do remember to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification too, and you'll be notified of any future releases. And let me know down in the comments if you are trying to add this to your own website. If you've seen this online, let me know what you think of it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I personally think it's great so let me know down in the comment section now without further ado let's jump onto the screen all right guys cool so we are on screen recording and inside Elemental and actually we're inside the agency website so I'm going to apply this style this animated text gradient to the actual agency website I think it looks really cool and I think it looked really nice on there so let's just try it now what you want to do first of all is select the text that you want to apply this gradient text to so we're going to go with our main h1 tag here on the home page so to click inside there it's going to activate on the left hand side side first of all let's have a look at the code we've got the code here and we can just click and drag that across into Elementor into custom CSS and it's not actually going to do anything at the moment and that's because we need to apply this class that we've defined here called gradient text now this can be anything that you want it to be but whatever this is this also needs to match the class of the heading tag here so we need to apply that class to this container so we've got this container selected let's go to advanced and here under layout we want to go to CSS classes okay so we want to add our class inside here so just as a reminder this is gradient text so what I'm going to do is we're just going to copy this and we're just going to paste it in here all right so we've now got the class of gradient text on here so it's going to look for gradient text as a class which is in this heading container and then what it's going to do is it's going to find the h1 which is the text inside okay we can also ensure that it applies to h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 um, by adding the corresponding heading tags and CSS classes to this block of CSS code all right so so this main text here we've got gradient text added if you want you could go through and you can add it to each one of these which I potentially will do now we've got the gradient text CSS class applied to this heading we now need to add this custom CSS now there's not a way to do this natively with inside Elementor as of yet that might change in the future but for now what we just need to do is go to custom CSS let's just move that out of the way all right and then we can drop our custom CSS inside here if we do it inside here it's going to apply directly to our heading tag now if you're a applying this around the entire site, you might wanna then pull this back a level and go into the customizer options, okay? So first of all, let's just have a look at putting it inside here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy all of this, and if you want this code, you can find it down in the description or it will be a pinned comment. For now, let's just copy this and paste it inside there, all right? And already, you can see how easy that was, okay? We've got our gradient applied to the header, it's wrapped to the text, so you can't see any gradient spilling outside and you can see that it's moving it's animating the, the color is changing and it looks really really cool i'm a huge fan of this i think it looks great so how do we take this a step further how do you customize this okay because you might be there thinking well actually i don't want these colors now it's really easy to change what you want to do is come down to the first css block and inside here you'll see an option called background and then we've got linear gradient All right, so this is what's creating the gradient and linear just means it starts and it ends you can have linear gradient you can have radio gradient which is a circle in the middle and the, the gradient sort of like spills out is it an Irish shape I don't know but it's, it's circular this one is linear so it's starting at one side and it's finishing at another okay so we've also got a 45 degree angle so it's going to start down here and it's going to end up here okay so it's going diagonally because the text is going horizontally sometimes it's nice to create the gradient diagonally so it goes across diagonal here we've got all of the colors so these are the colors that are appearing in here and we've got one two three four five you can add more if you wish you can take some of way if for example we take two away it's going to look very different right we've just got two colors red and a bluey blue color which is our brand color okay so you can see that already it looks very very different so if we add the other two back in we've got orange in there and we've got a pinky purple which i really like so what you would do is you would just go through find the hex codes to the colors that you want and you would apply them in here okay now we've also got background size this is really important because if we for example don't have this it's going to look like this and it's not going to move okay you can see that 
it's, it's not anime in. And that's because the background size needs to be a lot larger than the, the piece of text that it's inside. And that's what's gonna allow the animation to the background to kind of move around, all right? So we've got this text as a mask, as a window, and we've got the background sitting behind it, and you want the background to, to move. So that's the idea of this. So what we do is we want background size to be 200, 300, 400%. The larger the percentage, the more that it's kind of gonna like move around, and you'll end up with a kind of slower, more fluid transition. We're at 400%, we're just gonna keep that here. This is the important bit. This is the animation. This is what's gonna cause it to move. Now, if you don't want it to move, you can literally just delete this and you're gonna end up with a, a type of gradient on the text. If you want it static, it's absolutely fine. That's how you do that. But if you do want it animating and moving like me because it looks pretty cool, what you do is add the animation, okay? So the animation class, it allows us to create an animation name. So we've got text gradient. We want that animation to run for 15 seconds and we want to create the easing to ease. And we want that to loop, okay? We want it to run infinitely. We don't want it to just run once and then stop. Okay, so this is our animation, this is text gradient. Now to show you what that's doing, we need to scroll down and we've added a keyframe, all right? And our keyframe is called text gradient. Now you can name this whatever you like. So you could call it animated background, for example. Okay, we can name that anything that we like. Okay, and this is essentially giving the keyframe or the animation name and we're saying with inside what we want to happen. Okay, so from a starting point, which is 0%, we want to, the background position to be zero and 50%. Okay, so it's gonna be right over on the side, it's gonna start in the middle. And then at 50%, say so halfway through this animation, where do we want that background position to be? So we're completely changing the start position. So we're moving it, okay? We're moving this across and you can see why we're going diagonally because if the color is going diagonally and we're moving it across, it's gonna create a really sort of nice color wave and it's gonna transition and be really slick. And then where do we want the animation to end? We want it to end at the start point. And if you don't do this, what you're gonna find is the animation is gonna go through, it's gonna get to its end point and it's just jump back to the start point. And if that doesn't marry at the same, you're not gonna have a smooth loop, okay? It's not gonna transition smoothly and you're gonna end up with a, a kind of like a glitching loop and that's not what we want. Now remember we changed this to animated background and you'll see it's not animating anymore. Our text is no longer animating because it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work is because within our text where we've got our animation, our animation is still called text gradient. We're using what this used to be called. Now we want to use this animation, which is currently called animated background. So you would make sure that the naming convention there is the same. So we're just gonna copy this copy that and if we change text gradient which was what we had our previous animation named as we're just going to paste that in there and there you go you can now see that it's looking for an animation it's found this one it's running through the motion and it's working all right so that's that's really really cool so there you go that covers off the animation just looking at some of the other stuff we've got in here some really important factors i've got padding on here and the reason for that is if i didn't you'll see that the g's are cut off on the text i'm not really sure why it does this i think it's to do with the background clip that we're using here but we need to make sure that that is on five so it just fills that gap and we've got no text cut off. But these are very important, both of these WebKit and the non-WebKit style classes. And essentially what we're doing here is we wanna make sure that the background is clipped to the text. Okay, so we've applied a background and we wanna clip it. And that's how we create this text Wednesday. So this is how we allow the background to sit behind the text. We're using the text as the clipping tool and that's how the color spills through. So that's really important. If we did get rid of that, you'd end up something like this. Although it still moves, you can't read the text. So we want to clip the text. And then text fill color, we just want that to be transparent. So there you go guys, you now know how to add an animated colored background to your text on your website or either your client's websites, wherever you might want to put that. It's really easy to do as well. It's only a few lines of CSS code and you can apply that as you've seen directly to the header itself, or you can go back a level and apply it to a site-wide CSS. Ultimately, that's up to you. It depends on how you want to use it. If you found this valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it also helps other people find the content on this channel. Remember to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too and you'll be notified of any future releases. There's an end screen coming up with two videos. Each of them are going to be really good for you so make sure that you check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!